Oh my god, bro. No, this has to be the hardest within 24 hour challenge we will ever do. Like the Kuz Jewel Katana is on next level hard, but like this is like getting a low gear in GPO. Anyways, with that being said, let's see how quick we can get the Kuz Jewel Katanas. Yeah, try saying that first. I mean fast. Anyways, though, with that being said, uh, let's open. Uh, right after you drop a like. All right, let's make this happen. But first thing we need to do, we need to get into third seat. Yeah, no sh. <sighs> Anyway, though, when we get the third seat, we need to go over and head over to the Turtle Island. And this is where the mansion will be. And there's basically this locked door with, like, ghosts and hunted skeletons that we gotta try to get into. That, okay, so, basically, uh, we gotta go for the door now. He gave me access to the door. Should be open. Is it? Wait, what? You open the door, dog. Honestly, I have no idea what I gotta do. But I know I had to do something. So, I just went over and took a wild guess while watching the video. So, uh, the guy in the video was level 2,300. So, uh, off the grind I go. Hey, uh, but while we was off to grind and I actually realized something. We finally hit the goal in the last video. If any one of you guys remember that is. Oh, yo, I just realized, bro. 40 million, boys. Yup, well, uh, uh, money won't buy us levels, so uh, we had to grind over for the next three hours, dog. Just pure raw grinding until we reached the required level. Oh, so I thought. All right, boys, so we finally level 300, bro. I can finally go over to the uh, to the next map, bro. You know how long I've been grinding? Yep, I lost a clip of me trying to open the door, but basically the door wasn't opening for me, bro. If any one of you guys have any blocks with experience, or probably just an other sweat, then you guys would probably know that you actually need two swords. One of them is Gamma, and one of them is Toshiba. Uh, don't quote me on this, I'm probably wrong. Anyways, though, you gotta get both of the swords to 400 mastery, and only then will they open up the door for you. Yeah, but I lost our footage. All right, so we just did a raid, and check six, we got the dark. Yeah, nobody cares about your dark. <laughs> but if you guys are wondering what we're doing right now, we're basically farming for Yama, or one of the two swords. Basically, the only way to get the sword is by killing 30 elite hunters, and at the time, I only killed 19. And every time you could do an elite hunter quest, it basically has a 10 minute cooldown, so this one took a minute. Alright, so uh, that's it. That's the 30th uh, Diablo boss we're gonna beat. So right now, I'm gonna try to pull out the stone from the sword. Yep, just like the knights back in the day, bro. We're gonna pull a stone out of the sword. I'm in the other way around. Anyways, though, if you guys saw, we did get the chalice cup. I'm not sure if this is required for you to pull a sword out, but whatever. We're gonna keep it anyway. So, after breaking into like a burial place or whatever and killing the guards, it's time to pull out the sword. The sword doesn't seem to budge. Try again. You managed to make it budge just a little. Try again. It appears there is a curse on the sword. If you continue, you might die. Try again. The sword has accepted you guys as owner. Let's go! Okay, 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 okay. This is no way over. This is only the first sword. There's a Yama. There we go. Equip this. Alright, it's time to get the other sword. And this one actually requires you beating a boss. But you know how boxes love their puzzles. Oh, God, bro. Do I really gotta go through this whole puzzle to summon Indra? And before we even summon that boss, we gotta do another puzzle to even summon the boss to summon that boss. Yo I can't spawn him, dog. Wait, how do I spawn Indra? Anyways, though, you know what? It was light work because the god chalice we got from killing the elite hunters or Diablos, and that's already the hardest requirement. So, it's now time to begin. Alright, so my boy Lester went over to do the puzzle. Oh my god, it actually spawned in. So, basically, oh, we gotta go back into that place where we pulled out the sword, kill the guards. After we kill the guards, go up into this hidden waterfall place and into this white door. Let's go for this door. I'm gonna get a torch. Give me that holy torch. Yep. And the white torch is to go over the light of the torch holders thingy. Wait, what? I don't know, bro. We gotta go light up some stuff in order. But don't worry, bro. I practiced so much and it was basically easy. All right, there we go. That's free. Yep. And that only means we only got two more holders to light up. And a fifth torch. There we go. All right, well done. You may enter my eye. I don't know. All right, so all this practice uh, paid off. Now that we did that, we can go over to kill the boss to get the final sword to get the 400 mastery. So I can get the dual katanas or whatever. <laughs> but I almost forgot. We had to go kill Indra first. And there we go. All right, so we got Valkyrie helmet. Yeah, just a whole bunch of stuff we already had. So we went over to reset our stat points and hold back on getting the last two or Toshiba or whatever. So we just went over to get mastery for Yama. I mean oh, we're still gonna get 400 mastery on both swords so might as well just start with one. Alright so Big Mom went over to give us a whole bunch of mastery bro. so we got the first uh, first ability Hell is slash. Um, very anticlimactic. Yep, but we still had to get 400 mastery to even enter the mansion on this sword. So I decided to go over and just uh, do the quest one time. So we're getting levels and mastery. Not that this sword is complete. We only got one more sword to go. There we go. Oh, that's kind of dope though. Hey, I mean, that's nice now. Oh, we still got another sword to get a 400 mastery. So we went over to wait till the boss spawned over. And there's no time to go slap him. Alright, boys. So that is, a, that is a boss that drops us the second sword, Toshido. So yeah, I'm just gonna slap him up right now. I don't think it should be hard at all. And now. Uh, that boy had me wondering if I was fighting an NPC or a boss for a second there. Look at this, bro. He doesn't stand a chance. Yeah, Buddha needs to be yeah, Buddha's to crack. Oh, I got it first try. Toshita. I wonder what the jump chance on that, but there's no way I got it first try. There we go. First try, boys. Yes, sir. Oh, man. Oh, we had to get into 400 mastery, though. But uh, don't worry. I got you guys. 
time skip and uh they have to 400 mastery now all right boys so we actually got 400 mastery i didn't even open a skill once bro all right so if we do this and this we got the two skills so i want to go test it out you can actually hold on that first skill and that final skill is kind of a lunge these don't look too bad it looks kind of the same but okay that ain't bad all right so now that we got yama and toshiba to 400 mastery we can finally talk to the npc and they could oh my god dog after 12 grueling hours actually uh 14 grueling hours we can finally enter this castle it should be open now good luck in there all right so now that we did this the door is open or oh, we could finally enter bro oh my god this took the whole day to do all right so if we go over and talk to the scrolls or whatever um I don't even know what to do, dog. All right, no, don't worry, bro. The future dragon got you guys. I did not pass me, though. I was basically lost. Anyways, though, so the two souls that we got, Yama and Toshiba, each of them has their own scroll, and each of them has three tasks you gotta go over to do. So, that is six tasks in total. So, the let's start up with trial one for the Yama scroll. All right, there we go. Pain and suffering. So, the first trial is pain and suffering. And, uh, yeah, let's make it happen. I don't know what to do. <laughs> All right, anyone's watching my video that's trying to get CDK, Chris Duo Katana, I got you guys. So, for the step one of Yama scroll, all you gotta do is head over to Frilla Park, go up inside of this building, sorrow inside of this place, and talk to this white guy. Alright, so, uh, gotta talk to this guy, hello, there we go, he says nothing, I guess, whatever, then I gotta go die by the NPC. That's right, just let him do enough damage for you. And that's basically step one of the Yama scroll. Alright, so, uh, I have to get low by these guys. Alright, the score reacts to your achievements. There we go, alright, so that's one of them. Okay, yep, for you guys to go over and know if you complete the scroll quest, it basically go over to say the score reacts to your achievements. And for you guys to move on and go over to do the next scroll, Scroll task. You gotta go back to the mansion, talk to the scroll, and accept the next quest. All right, so we're moving on to the second child, Haze of Misery. No, bro, the owners know what they were doing named Haze of Misery, dog. Quick explanation: you need to go over to kill every single NPC that has a purple marker on them. There you go. That's one. But they say I have to kill all the NPCs on the island. <laughs> yes, sir. But after an all of trying, bro, we went over to kill every single NPC in the game, and I just decided to give up. Nah, bro, it's 12 a.m. I need sleep. I'm going to bed, bro. That's enough of luck for fun. So, after I woke up I'm feeling refreshed, I decided to hire someone. All right, boys. So, um, oh, we hired a pro. They're basically. Oh, my God, bro. Oh, the, 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 uh, good thing I hired this professional dog because there's basically an NPC in the game that is behind this hidden wall, bro. Yeah, the same NPCs we had to kill to go to light up the torches. And I forgot to kill them because they got a purple markings too. So, after two hours of being stuck on this godforsaken trial. All right, we had to come back and kill them. Oh my god, the score reacts to your achievement! Yeah! <laughs> 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 two hours, bro! Oh my god, bro! You! Are you done? Oh, I can't even fake this sound if I try, bro. I was, I was extremely excited, bro. Oh my lord! But let's move moment to the final trial. All right. So the next trial is a uh, Fiat Reaper. Uh, I don't know what this one is. That one kind of easy. All right, bet. Uh, to be fair, this one is kind of easy, dog. I just went over to trade the Mochi Raid Chip for somebody to go over to spawn in a Reaper because it takes quite a bit of bones. So after he spawns in, you make him kill you, and then you get sent to hell. After you get sent there, you basically gotta light up three torches, and every time you light up a torch. A wave of NPCs go over to spawn in. Until the final torch, a boss spawns in, dog. This one actually has the Dark Awakened Devil Fruit. And that's the final one. There we go. Yo, I'm bug. What the joker, bro? Hey, after almost dying, bro, when you go over to beat the Dark Boss, Dark Awakened Boss, you get sent back. And then you complete the trial. All right, so we killed everybody. There we go. The doors open up, I think. Enter. And yep, the score reacts to your achievement. So we are officially done with the Yama School. It's time to do the three final trials for the Toshiba School. This one is actually pretty easy. Well, uh, the first one is actually pretty easy. All you gotta do is have the free boat, guys. In different aisles. Any of them. Alright, so I did the first one. And now I gotta go back. <laughs> yep. Oh, we gotta go back and get a second trial. And this one is actually called Sense of Duty. All you need to do is go over and kill over the pirate raid whenever they come in. They spawn over every one hour and a half or something like that. I don't know. The score reacts to your achievements. Alright, so we went over and we killed that guy. Alright, so now it's time for the final trial, bro. My god, this is almost over. Hey, time to move on to the final trial. This one is called Soulless. Alright, so... So they better send me to heaven and all that kind of stuff. Yep, this one is actually pretty simple. Just like when we get sent to hell, instead of dying, we need to go over to kill Big Mom. After we do that, we get sent straight to heaven. After killing somebody. Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. We TP, we TP. Yeah, it's the same thing like going to hell, bro. After you light up all three torches, then a boss one. This time it's a wicked light, because you know, heaven. 
A big word. Yeah, yeah, easy. I never need Buddha to beat you. Oh my god, bro. And after we did that, the only thing that we had to do was just go over and talk to the final screw. And defeat this boss, but in a sec. Yes, sir. Open up the door. Oh my god, bro. Putting that in feels so. You wonder why you don't have friends and you don't fit in. Ah, right. the only thing left to do now is to slap this boss. It, that really wasn't that hard, bro. But bosses are NPCs with Buddha. Aye, 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 aye. Wait, wait, wait. He dropped it? Yeah, you have to kill all of them now. Oh, 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 we got it! We got it! It's long! It's long! Pause. Hey, but after you go over to kill that skeleton boss, a whole bunch of his on the wing just keeps spawning in. An infinite amount, until you die. But the skeleton just kept on coming here. I get, I get my, I get, I get my first duo katana. So, we went on to get 400 mastery on TTK and it didn't disappoint. These other two skills, okay, not bad, and the final skill, I knew it would be some kind of launch. Okay, that's inside, inside. On top of the hour clip we lost, uh, this took 20 hours. It, it wasn't worth it.